My name is Rosario Martinez, a Senior Project Manager with the Coastal Bend Bays and Estuaries Program. We are here in Nueces Bay. Um, historically, Nueces Bay has supported a large number of colonial waterbirds, egrets, spoonbills, herons, but the populations have been on the decline and that's attributed to the fact that the uh, Rickery Islands, which are important nesting habitat, has been um, um, eroding away so there's not as, as much habitat for these birds. So back in 2001 the estuary program had partnered with the GLO, the Texas General Land Office, and we installed uh, what we call geotextile tubes which are um, big sacks filled with sediment so it protects the islands from wind and wave erosion but it's a temporary fix um, so it's been 15 years since we installed these geotubes and they are starting to fail or in some cases they have failed completely. So we were able to secure funding to install rock around these islands to give it more protection, more resiliency from sea level rise and storm events, flooding events, so, so the birds will have a better habitat so they'll be able to nest on these islands. This is um, what we call island number one. Um, we have installed all of the rock on it and we've actually put a topsoil on the island so we will go back and um, plant native shrubs and we also have some nesting platforms already installed here and the birds are already starting to nest it's the beginning of nesting season so it's great to see that the birds are already taking to this uh, new habitat we are restoring approximately two acres and it seems very small but it's used by hundreds of, that's the potential of hundreds of nesting um, colonial water birds here in uh, the backside of Noises Bay. The Coastal Bend Bays and Estuaries Program could not have done this project alone. We have partnered with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, the Texas General Land Office, KEPRA, the Port of Corpus Christi, and the Coastal Conservation Association. We're excited for this project and its potential, and we can't wait to see the colonial water birds use this newly restored habitat.